Sinbad needs no introduction. He's been part of movie history for decades. And all the actors who played Sinbad were a feast for the eyes. Here are our picks for the top 10 actors who played Sinbad. Dale Robertson was an American actor best known for his TV roles as well as Western movies. Time magazine called him probably the best horseman on television in 1959. Throughout his career, Robertson starred in well over 60 Western titles. Robertson began his acting career by chance when he was in the United States Army. His mother asked him to have a portrait taken for her because she didn't have one, so he and several other soldiers went to Hollywood to find a photographer. Not long after that, he found himself receiving letters from film agents who wished to represent him. In 1955, he starred as Sinbad in Son of Sinbad, alongside legendary actor Vincent Price. How dare you intrude in my private chamber? Critics praised his performance and the overall film, but it was condemned by the Catholic Legion of Decency for its portrayal of women. Douglas Fairbanks Jr. started acting when he was 13 years old. He was given a contract with Paramount Pictures at $1,000 a week for three years. He starred in dozens of movies from 1916 to 1987. After more than 30 years in the acting business, he portrayed Sinbad in the 1947 film Sinbad the Sailor. Unfortunately, the film was considered a box office bomb as it failed to recoup its budget. Nevertheless, it currently holds an 80% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It seems future generations enjoyed the film more than 1947 audiences. John Philip Law started acting at the age of 13 when his mother got him work as a film extra in the 1950 film The Magnificent Yankee. Mostly known for appearing in the spaghetti western film Death Rides a Horse, he starred in over 40 movies throughout his career. His performance in this film showed Hollywood producers and directors that he was leading man material. In 1973, he starred as the titular character in The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. It was a worldwide box office hit and won the first Saturn Award for Best Fantasy Film. Did you know? We have a new channel, that's right. From June onwards, we'll be splitting our content between the two channels. Friend of Dorothy's will continue to post videos about yesteryear, including top 10 videos of vintage stars and movies, as well as covering celebrities and events that shaped gay history. While the new channel, The Gay Way, will post videos about current events, movies and trends. The decision to split the content is to maximize your viewing experience. A link to the new channel will be popping up at the end of this video, so please check it out as it will be updated regularly. Patrick Wayne, the son of the legendary actor John Wayne, started acting at the age of 11, and, coincidentally, he starred in 11 movies with his father before making a name for himself. Colonel Greenhill's compliments, sir. The Colonel wants to know how Is your head to... cold? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. One of his first major roles was in the 1956 film The Searchers alongside his father and Natalie Wood. At the age of 39, he portrayed Sinbad in Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. The film was released in the same summer as the original Star Wars film and struggled at the box office. Did you watch this film in the cinema? Let us know in the comments. Hold on to your hats, from here onwards things get hot. Manu Bennett is a New Zealand actor best known for his work in fantasy movies and series like Spartacus, which ran for three seasons between 2010 and 2013. The series famously didn't shy away from showing skin, and Bennett had his share of scenes that took our breath away. He also starred in the Peter Jackson Hobbit trilogy portraying Azog the Defiler. But chances are that he went under your radar in The Hobbit as his handsome face was hidden behind the grotesque orc effects. In 2011, he starred in the made-for-TV movie, Sinbad and the Minotaur. He was as handsome as ever, but the movie was mediocre and currently has a 0% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, with an 18% audience score. Did you ever catch this movie when it aired? What did you think of it? 
This handsome and gay actor is best known for portraying Sinbad, Gulliver, and Jack the Giant Slayer. He and his partner, Tom Nickel, were together for 46 years. In 1958, he starred in The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, which is considered by most critics to be one of the best Sinbad movies. Not only was it a good swashbuckler movie, it was also pretty gay. Just look at those servant boys, I can't recall any other Sinbad movie with shirtless servants like these ones. Richard Grieco is an actor and former model, as well as a certified hunk from the 80s and early 90s. He has starred in over 40 movies, but is best known for his role as Detective Dennis Booker on the 80s series, 21 Jump Street. The series tells the story of a squad of youthful-looking, undercover police officers who are investigating crimes in high schools and colleges. The series was also what flung Johnny Depp into stardom. He portrayed Sinbad in the 1998 film, Sinbad, The Battle of the Dark Knights. We just wished Greco didn't cover up as much. He was definitely a handsome Sinbad, but showed way too little skin. John Morrison is a professional wrestler and actor. WWE promoted Hennigan to its SmackDown roster in April 2005 under the ring name Johnny Nitro. In 2016, he starred in Sinbad and The War of the Furies, a low-budget action-adventure film. The film is about a modern-day adventurer called Sinbad who accidentally releases the Furies, three beautiful but evil ancient beings powerful enough to threaten life on Earth. Produced by the independent film studio, The Asylum, the film was produced on a moderate budget and received mostly negative reviews. The premise was silly, the acting was amateurish, and there was no connection to Sinbad except the name. But we watched it anyway just to see Morrison's muscles. Did you ever see this movie? Were you even aware it existed? Let us know by dropping a comment. Zen Gessner is an American actor who is mostly recognized for his role as Sinbad in the syndicated television series, The Adventures of Sinbad. The series was a reimagination of the adventures of Sinbad from the Arabian Nights and ran for two seasons between 1996 and 1998. It was filmed mostly in Ontario, Canada and in Cape Town, South Africa, and received favorable reviews. Critics even stated the series was on par with Xena the Warrior Princess and Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, which also aired at that point. In a period in television history when fantasy series were all the rage, the handsome Zen Gessner didn't get enough screen time in our opinion. When the series ended, he had several small roles in film and television, but unfortunately this handsome Sinbad actor disappeared from the limelight. Did you ever watch this series? Let us know by leaving a comment. Our number one spot goes to Elliot Knight, who made his acting debut as the title character on the Sky One action-adventure series, Sinbad. A gorgeous physique, and ethnically the closest to the Arabian hero, the handsome actor portrayed Sinbad for only 12 episodes, but critics commended the fast-paced editing and snappy dialogue, as well as praised the diversity of the cast. He starred in several other series, including How to Get Away with Murder, Once Upon a Time, and Life Sentence. The first episode of Sinbad received overnight ratings of 1.6 million viewers, and it's not hard to understand why. Elliot Knight is by far one of the most dreamy Sinbads ever. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out some of the other videos on this channel, and remember to check out our new channel, The Gay Way, for more content.